to last year's mall disaster in Ontario, which killed two people. Today, for the first time, the mall's owner is speaking. He's accused of neglecting the building to the point of collapse. Our Jennifer Tryon has been following the story from the beginning. She's at the inquiry in Elliott Lake. Jennifer? Robin, today the mall owner couldn't remember if he had earned nearly half a million dollars in the year before he bought the mall. He also couldn't recall where eight million dollars in business profits went. As for the mall, Bob Nazarian says he also didn't know what he bought. In one word, it was a white elephant. The true state of disrepair hidden by previous owners. That building was uh, uh, not built properly right from beginning. They have uh, concealed all the information from us and the uh, accident happened. The Elliott Lake Mall collapsed just over a year ago. Today is the first time the owner has spoken publicly. Do you think everybody would have a million dollar in his pocket to, uh, to spare at any moment? So it was just too expensive? It was. It was. Do you swear that the evidence to be given by you... But the Commission Council maintained the Nazarians were so worth millions. Thank you. Buying and selling commercial and residential real estate across Ontario. What happened that, to that money? That's a very interesting question. I have a good life. I'm successful virtually on every uh, deal that I have done, beside uh, Algoma. You could have used this money to pay to fix the roof, right? The silence, frustrating for residents, hearing witness after witness, month after month, say they passed the buck. I want answers. I want to know why, why it happened. You don't want to hear, I don't recall. Exactly. The collapse killed two Elliott Lake residents and ripped the heart out of the downtown core, now just a field of dust. But documents show Nazarian knew exactly what he was buying, a mall in as-is condition for a cheaper price. Now this damn building had been thrown to me without asking and uh, for the first time I felt I'm in trouble. And, and in October of 2006, sir, when this was written... I'm sorry, I have to get a break. Certainly. Feeling choked up on the stand, but then the deal was done. Nazarian spent the following years patching up the roof and playing with financial statements to make the mall look more appealing, both to the bank and potential future buyers. The Nazarian family tried to offload the mall a number of times. Robin. Jennifer Tryon in Elliott Lake, Ontario.